Right, in this video, we're going to have a bit of a look at how you can blend three images into the final star trail. For those of you just joining now, this is part of a blog where I've taken three images, number one, number two, and number three, and we add them all together to get to the final image. So, first thing we need to do, if you've read the blog, you'll see that I've now prepped all of these three images in Lightroom, and I've brought them across into Photoshop. So, the idea here is... Uh, to get one image where my star trails, if you keep an eye on the, the trail over here, that's the first image, the second one it goes a little bit further, and then to add the starry night image afterwards, just to give it a bit of a punch. So, first step, we're going to come across to the side here, open our layer panel. Right, so the background I'm going to use, you've got my names up here, star trail 1, star trail 2, and star 3. Star trail 1 is going to be my base. So, what I'm going to do, click on star trail 2, open the new image, I'm going to select this entire image because now I know they are the same size and everything else is the same. My horizon is straight because I've done all of that in Lightroom. So we're going to go Selection Tool, select the whole image, click and drag over, and then Easy. Um, on Mac it's Command C and on a PC Control C for copy. Done. And then we go back onto our original image and Control V for paste. All right, now what you'll see here is it says Layer 1. So that is the star trail 2 that I've cut, and I've now pasted it on top of my background. By clicking this little eye on the side, you can see that's the bottom image, because you can't see the top one, and there's the other one. Right, both of those. To make it easier, double-click on the name, and we'll just call this one star trail 2, so we know where I'm working at. Spell correctly would help. Star trail 2, enter. All right, keeping this thing simple for today, all I'm going to do is we're going to drop the opacity of the top layer which is highlighted. So I'm going to go on my opacity, see the little thumbnail changes there, click and hold, watch the image. I'm going to drop this to 50% to start with, all the way down to 55, 0. There we go. Right, see how the images changes. So now I'm seeing half of the top one and the bottom one, so they're blended together. Watch the image. If I click on my little eye to remove it, to not to remove, just to make it invisible, there's the bottom image blended with the top one. We've got a nice circle starting to happen. Right, so far so good. Now I want to bring in this last image, which was my star shot there. For the details on these, check the blog. All the details and the EXIF info, each, each file is there. Same idea. Selection. Select my entire image. Command C or Control C for copy. Bring it back to the original one. And Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac to paste that in. Again, we can only see the top image now because the opacity is complete. You can't see through this image. Again, before we carry on, double-click on the name. I'll call that star so we know what we're working with. And same idea. I'm going to drop the opacity on my highlighted layer all the way down to 50. And you see immediately now uh, 50 there. We've blended that entire image. So if I drop the first one, just hide that. Only my circles add it in. There's a little bit of punch. That's pretty much where this one's going to stop. But just to carry on what I would have done from here, I can double-click on my bottom image and flatten image. What that does is it merges all three of those together. Now, this is a single image. And from here, I can now keep on processing. What I would like to do, for example, click on my adjustments down here, go to uh, brightness and contrast, and watch the image. Just push my brightness up a little bit, contrast up a touch, and I would normally then go back to my layers, normally keep on working from here. So, just a short one on the blending of those three images all together. You'll see I still have the star trail 2 that I copied. As with the single star image that I've copied, they've all been blended into one single image, and I can now keep on my processing from here. Right, that's the end of the video. If you're on the blog, keep on reading underneath. Alternatively, if you're on YouTube, check the, image be uh, the, the link below this, and check the blog from there. Right, more next time. That is blending three star trail images into one.